Using Windows 10 and Hyper-V, let's take a look at how we can relocate or move a virtual machine without even turning it off. So let's take our virtual machine. It's running Windows Server 2016. If we click on Connect, we can see that it is, in fact, running. Let's go ahead and minimize that. And now let's right-click on the virtual machine, and let's choose to move it. So we click on Move, and we get a wizard that pops up. Let's choose Next. We're going to choose to move the virtual machine storage. And we have a few different options here. We can either move all the virtual machine's data to a single location, or we can split that information up to multiple different locations. And it may make it run faster if we split that data up. Also, it could help you if you're running out of storage space on a particular partition. But we're going to move all ours to a single location, and we'll click Next. And now we'll choose the folder. We can see our current size is 15.5 gigabytes. So it's not very large. You might have a much larger one, so it may take a lot longer time. So let's go ahead and switch down to our E drive. And we'll choose Hyper-V. And we'll say New Folder. And we'll just call it 2016 for Windows Server 2016. All right, we'll click Select Folder. Click Next and finish. So now our virtual machine is preparing the move and then it will continue with the move. Now it says it's performing the move, which is great. And we can see that our virtual machine is still running. As a matter of fact, we can go ahead and log into a virtual machine while it is being moved. Let's go ahead and move it down like that. We can see performing the move is still happening. You may notice that the virtual machine runs more slowly while it's being moved, but you can still use it. And we see that it completed because the box disappeared. Let's go ahead and close our window, right click, choose on settings, and go to the hard drive. And we can see it's in that 2016 folder that we set up earlier. And that's where the new destination is for our virtual machine. Let's go ahead and click Cancel. So now we can see how we can move a virtual machine in Windows 10 using Hyper-V without the server or virtual machine that's running on it even going down.